This is interesting, guys. Who is the most to blame for AMC's price decline? And of course, comment down below if you think there's anyone else mostly to blame. But out of these options, Ken Griffin, Goldman Sachs, Gary Gensler, or all the above. And like I said, comment down below if you have any other options. But who do you think is the most to blame for AMC's price decline? Drop it in the comments down below. This ape said, I know how to short a stock. You're a crook. It's time we stop differentiating between naked shorting and acceptable shorting. It's all fraud, and they're all crooks. There is nothing, I mean nothing, that is comparable to the advanced and capitalistic society now. Not now or not ever before. It's a practice that was created to confuse the masses. Oh, it must be sophisticated and for experienced traders, like market makers, who ensure orderly trading, of course, right? Who literally have licenses to steal money. It's time we finally stand up and put an end to all this. And that's exactly what the AMC community wants more than all. This ape said, I'm proud of the real ones. We are going to win and they will be remembered. The sellups will always have a burning coal in their chest, knowing the path they chose and how they portrayed the light that attempted to, pre to prevent justice. The real ones will hold their heads high. Now, over the years since I entered this play and even over the last few months, there has been a lot of apes that paper handed and are no longer with us. And the great thing is, is that with an open, fair market, they have the choice to do so, of course. But for the rest of the apes that are still holding strong like myself, just imagine how good it's going to feel, if and when the MOAs does happen someday soon. One of the biggest mistakes noobs make in analyzing a stock by its current stock price or recent performance alone, you have to look at whether the company's fundamental growth matches with the share price or not. With AMC, clearly there's a discrepancy where it's way undervalued. This ape said without going to the theater, you can have a massive impact on the company still, AMC. The price is justified by market makers at around $6 a share because $4.72 billion in debt that we currently carry on the books. Or at least that's their story. What happens if we take a big bite of the debt though this quarter by running up a decent bill at merch? And we've already seen that across the board people are spending crazy money on merch and popcorn, etc. That will not just give a huge quarterly beat, but also a massive boost in paying on the debt. AMC together strong. Very good idea. Very well said. This ape says we never leave no ape behind. Apes never leaving. Apes, it's simple. We leave no ape behind. We all need to remember that some apes may only have 1 to 50 shares. Every share is important. We all need each other to reach our goal. 500k per share, all apes eat. So this is an old classic screenshot that many of you older apes probably remember, but this was the original squeeze floors. It says 1k, self-gain, not crazy local news talks. 5k, 5 to 10% of the apes get wealthy, some headlines. 10k. 25% of apes might have life-changing money, national headlines. 25K, 50% of apes have life-changing money, worldwide attention, and of course FOMO. 50K, almost all apes are millionaires before taxes, game changer, history will mention us. And 100K, once in a lifetime, everyone eats. Textbooks and classrooms will remember us and use this moment as a case study forever. Comment down below what your squeeze floor price is. Let us all know what you're shooting. This ape said, OMG, look at the OBV on AMC. It's at an all-time high. Please tell me how a stock with this high of OBV and the price tanks make it make sense. So just as of recently, the OBV has curled up, which is super interesting and bullish, but yet the price has not matched as of yet. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.